sort of, I suppose, uh, relief would, would be a, a, a big emotion that you're experiencing right now. Uh, how did you, you know, how did you overall see the game pan out? Yeah, I thought, you know, we had a good start. Um, although we, it was a bit of a slow start. Mm -hmm. um, I thought we played our way into the game in the first half. It was something that we spoke about at half time. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, I think near the end, we played ourselves in a position to, to win the game, but then, you know, came short under pressure. Um, and I think, you know, what I'm talking about, you mm -hmm. know, we, had, we, had a, we scored a try and we could have exited quite accurately and earlier and we didn't. Um, but that's playing with the youngsters. They'll make mm -hmm. those mistakes and, and they'll learn along the way. So yes, we're very happy to have had the win. Obviously, if we had lost, we wouldn't have been in the race. Sure. But we're certainly in there now. Next week is a, is a big game for us. Yeah, you know, with the way things could still, what you are now on 15 points, leaders on 19. So even the possibility of a home semi could be could be up for grabs if things work out your way. Yeah, there's some interesting scenarios. I think we're on 14 points, so yeah, 5 14. will give us 19. So we were hoping for the 5 to hopefully get a 20. Yeah, yeah, um, but we had to take it one game at a time. Um, I think after what we've been through, I think the guys will be happy with a semi-final spot. But yes, a cherry on the top will be a home semi yeah. and, and hopefully a home final. Um, some interesting games next week. You know, Cheetahs play um, Western Province. Um, mm. And then Greek was about an interesting game against the Lions. So there's everything to play for, and we have to beat the Bulls to be able to qualify as well. So it's going to be an interesting round of rugby next week. Mm. Sean, uh, I seem to recall during the week you said the Lions are a team that don't like lineups. Um, obviously, that was a, a, a plan of yours, and something that turned out. How, how big a factor do you think that was in your win tonight? How much you yeah, it's a massive it? thing for us because, you know, obviously if we. If we have lineups, you know, we can launch our attack from them, and obviously we we enjoyed our physicality, but we only really had two shots at them late in the in, in the game, from a from a driving point of view, um, and we made a hash of the one early in the first half. So we knew that was coming, and and I understand the reason why that they're a young team and a young pack, and I don't want to face some of our experience type five. But in saying that, you know. Um, I thought the Lions played exceptionally well. They put us under a huge amount of pressure when they had the ball. It's extremely hard to get the ball from them when, they, when they've got it. Um, so I'm just hats off to the, to the guys that came off the bench because it was always going to be tough for us in the last 20. And we know the Lions have won most of the games in the last 10, 15 minutes. So I thought our bench did really well. Not that you'll be complaining, but were you a bit surprised to see there's a, a guy that's got his first kick with his vital last conversion for the Lions that, uh, that they were in skew? Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think any of the coaches or the team relies on kicks. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, it, it, uh, just it getting the result is a relief on its own. I mean, you, you actually, if one almost looks back at the game with a two-point victory, you won the game with something that's become a bit of a rarity in rugby, a drop goal. And that by a guy that's playing his first game, and I mean, he took it so coolly and collectively. You know, your thoughts on um, Buta Chamberlain's performance? Yeah, you know, I think he's a bit of an unknown factor. Um, I've been fortunate enough to work with him last year, and, and he did that um, on a number of occasions in, in, the, in the, the 19 age group. Um, he did it in the final for the under 19s last year against the Bulls. So I knew that, you know, if he was on top of his game, he would do well. I thought he had a, he had a great debut um, coming in to fulfill big, boot, big boots um, from Kerwin Bosch, and I thought he did that admirably. Um, and he'll only get better and grow. You know, he's a 19-year-old turning 20 this year. Um, played a few games for SM20, so he's got ability and potential, and um, this experience that he's got today will, will certainly help him go forward. Just a word on your, your scrum off as well, Sean, because... I mean, that's probably the most inexperienced halfback pairing in the Curry Cup, but they, they did really well today, didn't they? Yeah, like I said last week, Samir is a special rugby player. He understands the game, he reads it really well, and he manages it like an adult, a guy that's been playing for years. Um, I mentioned before that he's got a mature head on his shoulders, um, and he was outstanding today again. And, and obviously, his kicking to poles was, was a massive plus for us with Kerr not being there. Um, he actually asked for the kicking duties, that's the confidence that he mm -hmm. has within himself. Um, and it's always nice to coach a player like that. Um, he also calls the plays. So, you know, he's done a lot over this campaign, but certainly a guy with a lot of confidence. And we look forward to, to what he still has to offer us. Duran, maybe some of your thoughts being out there in the, in the battle? How, how tough was it and how did you experience the match? 
Um, look, it's always tough playing the Lions at home. Um, if you look at the track record they've done well, like Sean said, you know, in the last 20 they've always come up with a bang. If you look at how they put their team, they were hoping that they'll tear us apart in the last 20 minutes. Um, but I think our team has grown a lot, you know, it's lots of young guys and mm -hmm. um, lots of character that are shown today. And it's something when a team has a strong culture and character, it can go a long way up to them. So, you um, Sean mentioned earlier about how hard it is to get the ball off the lines once they have it. Um, did you guys feel that there was a bit of a swing in momentum in the second half, especially the first sort of 20 that the Lions really sort of dominated possession and, and you guys didn't have a lot of ball? So, how proud of you are you of the team that you managed to weather that and, and still come out you know, on top at the end? No, very proud. Um, when we spoke at half time, we said we wanted to start off well because um, we had a nice lead and it's something that we can obviously work on going forward um, but the guys just reacted well um, you know you you can't buy a character um, so I'm proud of everyone that played today. Sean I mean what was that sort of third quarter something you guys were doing wrong or, or do you just feel at times in the game you, you just got to give it to the opposition and, and absorb the pressure? Yeah I think they put us under pressure like I said they hold on to the ball really well when you're going backwards and you keep conceding meters it becomes really really difficult you know and what happens is you, you, you tend to concede penalties which we did do as well and that doesn't help from a territory point of view let alone scoreboard so you know like I say you know the Lions are really a good rugby team and I and I think we were a bit fortunate tonight to get to get the results. You know, we we, we we want to win the game, but we also want to perform well. So I think there's certain things that we can take out of this game um, that, that we can work hard on to become a better team going forward. And Apelele, how bad is the injury? Uh, Apelele went off for concussion. As we know, he was unfortunate to get a knock to the head. Um, he's fine now. Um, he's in the training room, but we'll have to see what the repercussions are. Last question. And just on the Bulls, maybe? Uh, the Bulls, now that they're, 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 they've they been resting this week, having to play them to maybe even qualify for a home semi, like you said. Yeah, the Bulls are, are, are going to be snorting a little bit. You know, they've got other pressures as well. I think they tie with, with the Pumas mm -hmm. um, at the bottom, so they'll want to avoid relegation. But they're also a proud union, and they'll want to stand up and play for their supporters. Um, they won't be happy with their campaign. Um, and that just shows how tough <laughs> this campaign is, the short one round that, that the Bulls are sitting near the bottom. But, you know, we know what's coming from them. Um, they're a good team when they get it right. And we're not under no false illusions of what they're going to bring next week. So we're going to have to really play well. But it's also for us, it's building momentum into the semis, not just, just winning. Just sorry, man. Just lastly, if you're Masa, um, you know, it's always that saying, who's the hungrier team? Do you think it'll be fair to say t uh, today, with the situation that you were in, that it was either win or bust, that you were just the hungrier team and the more disparate team to win today. Yeah, definitely. There was a lot of effort out there and it's never easy, like Terry said, coming up to Joburg. But um, we knew it was do or die. Um, and, um, you know, we, we put a lot of effort into the scan during the week, like I can tell you that. Um, and also into the, into the finer details of the game by closing it off. So, so yeah, you know, um, it's the way rugby goes. I think I think we're a bit, a bit fortunate tonight that we'll take that. Well, you've now won your last five Kerry Cup games against the Lions, so obviously the momentum's with the Sharks in this, in this clash. Yeah, we just want to take this, this form through to the end. <laughs> Thank you very much.